Hallelujah. Can we worship the Lord, everybody? Nobody greater. Nobody greater than you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Keep worshiping. Just keep worshiping God. Hallelujah. Nobody Hallelujah. Greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater, Lord. Nobody greater than you. Hallelujah. 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 Put your hands together for Jesus Christ, everybody. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to commence the night service. Hallelujah. It's Youth Convocation Night. And we are going to begin in the power of His might by singing from the Pentecostal hymnal, Hymn 95, I am determined to hold out. When I first found Jesus, something over me stole. Like lightning it went through me, and glory filled my soul. Salvation made me happy, and took my fears away. And when I met old Satan, to him I always say, I am determined. To hold out to the end, he must live with me. I can't depend, for I know I have salvation. Feel it in my soul. I am determined to hold out to the end. Satan, he was angry, said he'll soon be back. Just let the pocket narrow and he will lose the track. But I'm so full of glory, my Lord I'll always find. And I just say to Satan, oh man, get me behind. I am determined to hold out to the end. Oh yes, Jesus is with me on him. religion makes me sometimes shout I don't have time to gossip nor any time to pass they say that I'm too noisy but when the blessings flow I shout oh hallelujah I want the world to know sing I am determined Trumpet sounding in the sky and see the mountains trembling to heaven I will fly for Jesus will be calling there'll be no time to bend with joy I'll go up singing I'm held out to the end oh I am determined Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
At this time, I'm going to invite Sister Janelle Daly to come with the scripture reading in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord, saints. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Our nice lesson will be taken from Hebrews chapter 11, and I will be reading from verse 1 through to 12. So that's Hebrews 11, and we'll follow. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found, because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony, that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. By faith, Noah, being warned of God, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by, which, by the which he condemned the world, and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should afterward receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whither he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles. As by faith, he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder is God. Through faith, also Sarah received strength to conceive seed, and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithfully who had promised. Twelve and last, therefore sprang there even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in, the, in multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. Here ends the portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Amen. At this time, we'll just ask Minister Javed Miller to offer a word of prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Can you just bow your head while I pray at this time? Hallelujah. Fathers, I humbly come before your presence one more time. God, I want to thank you for what you have done and what you're about to do. God, I want to thank you for life, your grace, and your mercy that endureth forever. Lord Jesus, thank you for the privilege and the opportunity, mighty God that you have given unto us just to be in your holy house one more time. Lord Jesus, just to lift up and magnify your name, knowing that you're worthy to be praised. Father, we ask, mighty God, that you empty us tonight, Lord Jesus, and take up your full aboard within us. Have thine own way. Take full control even right now. Father, I leave the service entirely in your hands as I pray and say thanks. I look forward to your mighty precious works. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Amen. And shall the church say, Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can be seated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Welcome, welcome, welcome each and every one of you. Can we put our hands together for Jesus Christ, everybody? Can you put your hands together for Jesus Christ? Glory be to God. It is by his power, his spirit, his doing, while we are able to come together. Hallelujah. And sit like this. So we honor the Lord tonight. Amen, everybody. Amen, everybody. Hallelujah. Today was a fantastic day. Glory be to God. Can somebody give Jesus a worship in the house today? God is such a good God. Amen. I am not ashamed 
of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And by this, they knew that we are disciples of the Lord. Hallelujah. Moving, hallelujah, from fear to faith to favor. Can you just repeat the theme with me? Moving from fear to faith to favor. Now do it one more time. Moving from fear to faith to favor. Amen, everybody. Hallelujah. Welcome to service on a Saturday night. I know this is outside of your schedule, but we give God thanks that you are in beautiful place tonight. I'm just looking down, seeing the colors. Look at the choir, Mighty Rock. It's two years since we haven't had camp. Today was just a close feeling. <laughs> Glory to God to that. And at this time, we are going to ring out the praises. We are going to praise the Lord, somebody. We're going to lift up the name of Jesus, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't sit. Hallelujah. On your sanctified self. You're going to let loose. And all that you had locked up in your house from 2020. Hallelujah to God. You're going to release it tonight. At this time, it is my pleasure to invite Sister Rochelle Johnson to come in the strength of Jesus Christ to do the testimony service. Hallelujah. My sins were higher than the mountain and the Lord sanctified me. My sins were flowing like a river and the Lord sanctified me. Oh, glory! Okay. 
than the mountain. Makosata, but the Lord, He sent me. I was so messed up. My sin. I was so messed up. I was so messed up, and my sins were flowing like a river. But the Lord. But the Lord. here should have been dead. Anybody who was written off. But the Lord is so it fit. He snatched you out of the clay. He washed you. And then he sanctified you. Any grateful heart in the house tonight? Any grateful heart? Anybody's sin was higher than a mountain. Makosana Masana. Put out your pride tonight. Roll by the curtain of memory. Now and then. Jesus, show me. Show me where you. Hallelujah. 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 It's testimony time. Say testimony time. We'll be talking about the goodness of Jesus. And we'll be starting on this side. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Any testimony on this side? Hallelujah. Any on this side? Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Any in the middle? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. God, thank you, Jesus. With a grateful heart, I give God all my praise. With a grateful heart, I give God all my praise. Truly tonight, God is deserving of all our praise. You know, when I look two years, we have been locked away. You know, like some animals because of coronavirus. And now we get the freedom. We come in and come from broth. See, I'm like, oh, this is my broth out there. We are broth in a song. Come and tell you something. What do you know about coming and come go and like say? When you see this thing on them out there, so how they might enjoy themselves, they call it broughing. So you want me to come, come broughing, oh my Jesus. Bless God. Because Corona locked me for a long time. And I couldn't go to church and worship, and I want to worship. Hallelujah. And I couldn't jump, and I want to Jesus. Jump. And I couldn't shout, and I want to shout. Mighty God. So now I get the perfect opportunity. Hallelujah. My house shut up to come into the house of God and to worship him. I am eternally grateful. Yes. I am eternally thankful. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm not going to sit on my praise. Bless God. And I'm not going to sit on my testimony. Because I know what God has done for me. Nobody in a society don't feel corona. Lie to my tell. Come in, no say. If I even want headache, fever, something. But we get a little touch. Some get a big touch. So me I tell you, Virgin, me have come and I come brave in me Jesus. Me I come come brave in me Jesus. Hallelujah to your name, mighty God. Sons of God. I no time for be ungrateful. I no time for no sit for no testimony. No, no, no. I no time for no coming and come act as if God no do nothing for you. Don't. You know, you know right. You know look good. Because me know I said no for we born in a white long time. And not because I'm grace and in mercy. But not even grace and in mercy. In great love, we have for us. That's why we are all sitting in heavenly places tonight. God bless you tonight. And I continue to bring off this wonderful privilege. Praise Christ. the Lord. I'm, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I should not be asking anybody to give any testimony, you know. You should be jumping up ready to give your testimony. You should be ready and waiting to give your testimony. Go ahead, sister. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise him. You can tell by the voice that I've been enjoying myself in the Lord. Bless Hallelujah, God. Jesus. 
This week has been a blessing. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I've had and I've received confirmation upon confirmation about confirmation. Hallelujah. Jesus is doing a great and mighty work in the church. You don't even know the power behind the theme. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. A couple weeks ago. Hallelujah, Jesus. A word was dropped in my spirit and God... I put the word to the test, hallelujah, Jesus. I'm currently not working, and I have a little piece of money, and I have a piece of bill that come up. Can you know them people here, they always send them bill on time. Even if the service is not, you know, consistent and strong, it's sent on time. And I said to God Almighty, Jesus, I don't have it repair. How may I go do? You can't tell me why the Almighty can't tell me if you drop the piece of money as a seed at church. Seed. Hallelujah. Service wasn't here, but I visited a church. And the word that came to me was confirmed yet again, and I feed it. I dropped the seed, and I said, God, I don't know what you're doing. But I believe in it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because he said, consider the lilies. Hallelujah, Jesus. And the birds of the air. Hallelujah, Jesus. So I dropped the seed. Hallelujah. And so you know, by the time I go home, I hear get a call. Hundredfold. Thank you, Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That was the Thursday. Sunday, me make sure I put my 10%. Hallelujah. More than hallelujah. And I say, I don't know what you're doing, God. But I believe it. It's hallelujah, Jesus. You, Jesus. By the time I wake up Monday morning, I get a message 200 fold in the name Mighty of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. So I'm telling you the power behind this because this is what God revealed to me. Church, listen. Fear. We heard about the dangers of fear. How it cripples you, but you don't know how, how dangerous it is. Hallelujah, Jesus. Fear cripples the church through disobedience. Disobedience of the word of God and the voice of God. Hallelujah. God showed me Ephesians 6. Hallelujah. I was studying warfare. 10 to 18, and God said, read it from the first verse. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. The first nine scripture before you put on the arm of Christ is obedience. Hallelujah, Jesus. God dropping on my spirit, Deuteronomy 28. If you hearken unto the voice of God and diligently do his commandments, you shall be blessed in the city. You shall be blessed in the fields. You shall have increase in the heart. In your storehouses. Hallelujah, Jesus. Blessed in everything but foundations of our feet. Hallelujah, Jesus. Abraham wasn't a man of fear because of so, 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 because he listened unto the word of God. Hallelujah. May I preach, God? I don't want to quit the preacher. But let me just finish the We've been saying the scripture confirmation. Faith coming by hearing. And hearing by the word of the Lord. And even Praise faith God. without works is dead. If you need work. We need tools. And we God. can call down and ask God for everything mightily because we did his commandments. Hallelujah, Jesus. So I'm just leaving this word. Moving from fear to faith to favor. You need to obey the voice of God. Somebody. God is showing because trust me, if nice. me never drop me little feed, I'm a little Lord, Lord mighty, mighty long way, my Look where you're from.
in the midst of God, God bless me with a car. God is still working. And the enemy wanted to steal the blessing. But little did he know that we had a, I had prayer, prayer persons behind me, backing me up. And I was sharing with my brother when I was coming down that I met in my first accident while, uh, during the COVID period. And I remember coming down the highway, it was raining. And when I came down, this driver came from nowhere. And he swung in front of me, but because there was a pothole, stopped sudden. And because it was wet and I hit the brake, and I remember trying to avoid hitting the car in front of me. I swung to the bank corner and I hit the bank corner and the car turned back in the opposite direction. All I could say was, Jesus. I mean, when, when we came on, nothing was wrong. I said, who could it be but Jesus? And there was a car coming in the opposite direction. So when the enemy back you up and say, I, I got you now. Remember that Jesus still have the final say. And let me give you some more good news. Since nobody wants to testify. He was able, I was able to sell that car and purchase a new vehicle. Hello. And I'm still unemployed. Who could it be but Jesus? When you trust in Jesus, he will supply all your needs. Almighty God, sometimes we try to put God in a little box. We try to confine him. But he has a final say. And when you just trust him, sometimes we need to step out. Fear, mighty God. We fear the unknown. But I remember when I moved back to Mandeville, I said, Lord, I want you to increase my faith. Listen, did I know that increasing our faith came with, it came with so many different challenges. But guess what? I held on to Jesus. I held on to Jesus because he is the reward of them that diligently seek him. Listen to me. If God promises something, he will fulfill it. He will fulfill it. Testify, brother, in Jesus' name. Good night, Sage. Hallelujah. I just wanted to greet you all in Jesus' name. Praise him. Jesus is a very good God because I prove him more many times. I know some of you guys don't know me, but God is a very good God. And it's a good while now, I'm going to really come back to church because I'm about the church and thing, but God is a good God. Because when I look back, I could have out here in the world thinking about something different, but Storm Jesus. God does always have something about me. Make me think about Him, you know? Yes. I always not admit, even when I come to church, I always not admit. I always I talk to me, to something, I say something to me. Make me think like, I can't keep friends no more because you say I can't keep walking as sinners. Because when I have God, I tell the truth. You can't really slug around one person who really have God because they might make you stray. I'm going prove that more than a hundred times. So I have to talk to sit by myself, I meds by myself, do everything by myself because I prove God, you know. I tell God real. Even when I'm in my yard, I want to post a song, an outrageous song. And it was like, God, now nah, make it post. So I just think and I say, God. And then I make up on a good song, you know, God post, you know. So I say, God, are you may believe in I know? So are you are do this, you know? I mean, I tell you this sense, God just want all of us to bowl and be strong and be... Bless him, Jesus. Amen. God is a good God, may I tell you. Bless God. He is good. And I just want everyone to know that um, if it's tough, it'll be hard for anyone, stop it because God don't see you. If you are going to pray and feel say you're against someone, I'm going to think God see the prayer there because God's lucky. You have to love everyone. Not just one, everyone. God. Support them. Because you know, if you give somebody money, you say you love them, you know. Yes, yes. Support him, support him. Like, Bless anything God. she wants, or he or she wants. You support him, you know. Bless so it's God. not about money, but some people just think of us. Money alone do everything. Money alone do everything. Love comes from here. Your heart and your soul and your mind. Bless that God. is love. Saints, I just want you to pray for me. My name is Bless Brother Sean. Bless the Just Lord. want you to pray my strength up in Jesus' name. Bless God, Amen. Brother Sean. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Praise I just God. want to give a short testimony, you know. Uh, the other day I was at church, you know. I see a sister who who came came back came to the church and and I just I right passed by, you know, saying I'm going to take a visit this night. But she wasn't, it wasn't church that was keeping 
it was maybe something was happening inside, you know? And that night I, I go home and I, I'm um, kind of nervous, you know, the crowd and go everything. Ahead, go but ahead, brother. Bless him. But, but I went home and I went to sleep, you know, and the Lord brought me back to this place, you know, and I could see the, 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 the glory of God. Like, it's like it's all over this place, you know, full of fire. And I was like here in the place, uh, shabasting God and worshiping. I'm just encouraging someone, just give God the praise so he can come yes, down in his God. glory even right now. Give him that praise. Don't sit down on that praise right now, man. Thank just you, give Jesus. God that praise that he solely desires. Because he made us for his worship. He made us to worship him and lift him higher, higher, higher. Higher, higher in God. So if you see me worshiping like crazy, I'm just giving God uh, something. Jesus. Because I have a blessing in store up there for me. And my worship is what's going to bring it down. And I encourage you to pray my strength as I keep on shabbasting myself in the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Have your Bless mighty devotee in Jesus' name. Bless God. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we praise the Lord, say? Praise him. Shall we praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Truly, I'm happy to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Praise God. God is truly a good God to me. Praise God. And you know, I was just sitting here and, you know, it just came back to me. You know, I remember some time ago, you know, coming to church and always hearing persons testify you know, of times when they didn't have money and God provided. And I remember one of the times I said... Boy, because you know, there are times when we, we, we may have a, a little account or so set aside where when there's rainy day we can right. draw from. And I say, you know, I never really find myself out of money that I can I always have where I can go and draw back. I, I would like a testimony like that one day. You know, you don't, sometimes you don't know what you're asking for when you ask for it. Jesus. Praise God. <laughs> And you know, the other day I find myself run dry, 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 <laughs> emptied. And I said, God, and I remember how you said, I said, Jesus, I wouldn't really want to ask God for. <laughs> and you know, I remember at one point I didn't have any money. I needed to start out something. And I think I had maybe about $800 in my name. And I had some things to start out. And you know, I, I, I said, I'm not going to worry. I said, God, you're the providing God. There's, as you said, you own everything in this world. There's nothing that you can't do. And, you know, I started lifting my faith. And I said, I'm not going to ask anybody for anything. If God can't give me, nobody else can't give me. God. Praise God. And, you know, I remember somebody came to me the day on the day. And they, they gave me some money said to give somebody else. And, um included in the envelope she said you know she gave me that money that I, I wanted to start all the things and I said God <laughs> I said God you're but truly good Jesus. and you know the next day I, I got a text from a, a co-worker well she used to work with me she migrated maybe uh, three years or so and out of the blues I haven't spoke to her for a long time months and out of the blues she texts me and asked me how I'm doing and so forth. And I responded and she asked me, what name is on your ID? Houghton Patterson or just Patterson? And I told her. And maybe about 10 minutes after she sent me a receipt. Triple the amount that I wanted. And Thank I said, Jesus. God, you're so good. Thank I said, you, I Jesus. have to worship God. I said, God, you're truly good, saints. Thank you, Jesus. We don't need to worry, praise God, when we find ourselves in certain situations, whether it be money, whatever it is. I have proven God to be such an awesome God. He's a providing God. Yes. He's a keeper. He's a protector. He's anything that you want him to be. Bless Just put God. your trust in him. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Praise Jesus. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise him. Praise the Lord. Um, I can say we serve a great, big, wonderful God who is able to keep us from falling, you know? Every day I have to travel uh, to Montego Bay back and forth for work. And uh, throughout the course of the week, um, 
I was driving and um, from Sunday, last Sunday, I keep on hearing a noise in the wheel. But every day it would get louder and louder and I was there praying because I didn't get the time to stop by a mechanic to look at the car. And each day it would get louder and whenever I pick up speed, it, the, the, the noise get louder. I'm like, what is this? So I would turn the music up just <laughs> because it's annoying. And I'm like, I'm praying and I'm like, God, please keep me. And, <laughs> you know, yesterday I was off, but I have other um, things to do in the morning. So I went to the mechanic in the, um, in the evening and he said, you know, it's too late for him to look at the car. And I said, please, you know, I cannot drive with it like this to, to work. And he said, okay, I'm going to check it. And he took off the wheel, and when he checked it, uh, he said, I don't see anything wrong. But I said, there is a noise there. And he said, you know, I'm hurrying, but I'm going to check a little further. And when he checked, he, I don't know, I don't know if it's the brake shoe or whatever it's called, but he said, you have no brake on the car. How are you driving this car? You know, and I'm like, and when he took off the, when he took off the thing of the car and showed me, the, I don't know if it's this part or the or brake shoe, whatever it's called. It was finished. And he said, um, if you had continued to drive this car off Long Hill coming down, maybe you would have to bang the car or go over Long Hill. And I said to him, I prayed and I asked God to keep me. And, you, and he said keep to me, Jesus. Yes, and I, and, I said, and, he, and I said to him, he said to me, I don't know, but I, I, I shouldn't come back at the shop. And um, I am here, I don't know why, but you know, and I'm saying you had to come back and you had to take up this wheel and fix it because God wouldn't let me drive this car and something happens. You just, I just have to worship Thank God and Jesus. give God all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise, praise the Lord, praise God. I too. I'm very grateful, praise God. I'm just giving God thanks that I'm in his house one more year. Praise God. Saints of God, what you're looking at is a living testimony. I'm not looking like what I've been through. Thank you, Jesus. Or what I'm going through, praise God. But I know the God that I serve. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord, saints of God. I should be dead. I shouldn't be standing here but today. God. Praise God. But God, and that's the reason why when I come into the house of God, I have to give God praise. Praise the Lord, saints of God. You know, um, maybe about two years ago, praise God, I was traveling in a car coming from Old Harbor. Praise Jesus. And while we were coming from a wedding, I had a driver that was driving me. And it was a bit late. It was almost 11 o'clock. And, you know, he was very tired. And we were driving, coming down. And saints of God, he was going really fast. Praise God. He was doing just over 100. But while I sat there, I was praying. I wanted to say to him, you know, slow down. But I knew he was tired, right? But I was just praying in my heart. And I'm saying, God, just bring me home safe. And while we were coming, praise God, we reached a cave coming down where, you know, all those accidents been happening, praise God. And while we were coming down the hill, I don't know, maybe he saw two roads or whatever. But saints of God, instead of going straight, praise Jesus, he was going, praise God, over into the, the, the bushes. And the car was going over 100, praise Jesus. And when he stepped on the brake, you know, when you're coming from cave, it's only rocks on the right hand side. There's any houses. And I tell you, when he stepped on the brake, the car started to spin at a hundred and odd miles per hour. And it started to spin and all I could see was smoke. And then I just hear a voice say, just started crying out for Jesus. And I started to cry for Jesus, praise God. And the car came to a stop, praise Jesus. And when he came to a stop, hallelujah, he did not hit anything. But the car was Jesus. completely damaged. It could not move, Jesus. praise God. And when I started to feel we were both okay. And when he came out and he looked at the car, the car was mashed up. Couldn't move, praise God, hallelujah. Praise Jesus. But God kept us, praise God. After that a year, I had COVID. Praise Jesus, I was so ill. 
Praise God, I was on the brink of death. I was in the hospital so ill. Hallelujah. Lord they did Jesus. all the tests. Praise God. They tried to help me, but nothing couldn't help. Hallelujah. I could not pray. I could not cry. Praise Jesus. But one sister came in the hospital and she saw me and she started to pray. Hallelujah. Praise God. But God gave me a second chance. You, and Jesus. here I am today. I'm here to praise God. Thank I've lost Jesus. my son. Within three years time, I lost my son. I lost my mom. I lost my dad. Praise God. And everything was just going downhill, saints of God. I almost let go. But when I Keep almost let go, Jesus. God held me. And here I am today. Thank praise you, Jesus. Jesus. There are many times when I wanted to give up. Praise Lord Jesus, many Jesus. times when I've let go, but God held me. Thank and I had Jesus. to just keep encouraging myself like David. Thank Hallelujah. Jesus. Because I know I am a winner. I am a warrior. Thank Praise God. God. I am more than a conqueror. Thank Praise Jesus. Jesus. And that's why I'm standing today. Saints of God, I mean to serve God. I mean to serve God. And I want to make it in. You pray for me. Praise the Jesus Lord, everybody. Name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Put your hands together. And give the Lord a praise. Praise the Lord, everybody, as we come to the end of our testimony service. We'll be singing our last song. And then the moderator, in Jesus' name. Wash me, Jesus, wash me. Wash me in your blood. Wash me, Jesus, wash me. And let me whiter than snow. Wash me, Jesus, wash me. Wash me in your blood. I'm feeling happy. I'm for my Lord. Wash me, wash me, wash me, wash me in your blood. Wash me, Jesus, wash me. And let me want to let go. Wash me, Jesus, wash me. Wash me in your blood. Wash me, wash me in your blood. Wash me, Jesus, wash me. And make me whiter than snow. Wash me, Jesus, wash me. Wash me in your blood. I'm feeling happy. I'm God, my Lord. Wash me, Jesus, wash me. Wash me in your blood. Wash me, Jesus, wash me, and let me whiter than snow. Wash me, Jesus, wash me, wash me in your blood. I'm feeling happy, I love my Lord. Lay your hand on me, Jesus, I don't mind. Lay your hand on me, Jesus, I don't mind. Lay your hand on me, Jesus, I don't mind, I don't mind, I don't mind, I don't mind. I 
for doing that segment, hallelujah, for us in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. I'm just going to ask you to stand again. Can you stand for me, please? Stand. If you're able to stand, just stand. And you can have a seat again. You can sit down. You can sit. Can you lift your right hand in the atmosphere? Can you lift your left hand in the atmosphere? I know many of us didn't get the chance to testify, but without God's ability, you couldn't stand just now. Without God's ability, you couldn't lift your right hand just now. I think sometimes we may feel pumped up a little, but sometimes if you can just sit and reflect on the mercies of God, even without opening your mouths, your hands will be lifted. Your spirit will be lifted. Because if you go by Savlamar Public Hospital or by Cornwall Regional, it would be a different assignment tonight. It would be different. I am sure the person that left earth this morning or even right now that is leaving this earth wish they were in your capacity. So I'm not going to come and say, oh, bless the Lord, oh my. You got God. And if you got Jesus, then no pastor, no moderator, no musician tell you to lift your hand and worship this great God. Who was there when you were all alone? Who was there when you had no money in the bank account? Who was there? So saints of God. When you come into the presence of the Lord, sometimes you may not be feeling good in your body, but in your spirit, offer God a worthy praise. Somebody worship Jesus. Worship Jesus. I'm looking at people who could be admitted to the 10th floor. Out of your mind. Out of sync with the light. We talked about mental health today. Come on, people of God. Isn't that enough? When I look at this cohort of young people, I say, thank you, Jesus. Many of them, women of God, are on the road, smoking, doing all sorts of things. Even if they are not perfect, they are still in a better place. Somebody put hands together for Jesus Christ. So tonight, we just want to lift our hands and just say, God, I'm grateful. I am grateful, Jesus. I may not have it all, but God, I'm grateful. Jesus, I am grateful. I know, God, I may not be right with you, but I'm still grateful. Somebody just lift up that worship in the atmosphere just for a minute. Worship him. Worship the God of your salvation. Worship the God that said live when others said die. 
Worship the God that said, I call you, I chose you, I predestined you. Worship that God that knows you by name, number, address, everything about you. Somebody worship this God. Young people, worship God with me. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be adored. He is awesome. He is magnificent. He is above all gods. And his name is Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I remember what God did for me. And I will praise him. I remember when I needed $98,000 to pay my tuition. And in 24 hours, the Lord did that for me. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. So in all things, we give thanks tonight. We give God thanks tonight. Somebody worship God. Somebody worship. Hallelujah. I'm just going to get myself out of the way. But I just feel this worship. I don't know if you're feeling what I'm feeling, but here is just. I thank you, Jesus. Two years ago, I could be on a ventilator saying I can't breathe. But I'm still breathing. My heart is still beating. Yes, he said I live. Oh. Somebody just want to worship. He said, I live. I shall live and not die to declare. Somebody worship. Just one more time. Yes. 
Somebody put your son on Nazareth said, Live, you shall not die, but declare the words of the Lord. You may be seated in Jesus Christ. Just put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we honor the Lord, hallelujah, in this beautiful atmosphere. For all those who came in after the initial greetings, I greet you in Jesus Christ's mighty name to Dr. Um, Woman of God, Nepal, hallelujah, the most esteemed. I bless you, man. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the people of God, no man. We thank God for our leaders and we're praying for them. All right? Hallelujah. We're going to get ourselves out of the way. We're just going to do the welcome. Hallelujah. We're going to announce the churches. You just stand, do it your way. Hallelujah. Sweet, short, and spicy. Hallelujah. We have John Zoll in the house tonight. Ah, uh, Sister John Zoll, one more time. Hallelujah. We have Friendship Apostolic in the house tonight. Hallelujah. Little London is in the house. Little London HBAC. Hallelujah to God. Remnant Apostolic. Hallelujah to God. We have Welsh HBC in the house. Welsh, Welsh. Yes, brother John, go ahead. Hallelujah, two, three. Oh! Hallelujah. And we have Balaclava HBC in the house. Stand and give God a worthy praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. Hearty HBAC. We have Bull Bay Apostolic. Can you stand and give God a praise? Hallelujah. Out of the great city, Montego Bay Restoration Center. Hallelujah. Where there is praise and expectancy. God bless you. Hallelujah. We have Kensington from out of St. James. Hallelujah. Kensington. No, I've been to your church before. And when I came the last time, it was a mighty show. So I'm going to ask you to stand again. Hallelujah. I understand. But with all that is within you, bless his holy name. Go again. Two, three. That is the power of God. We have Shiloh HBAC in the house. Hallelujah. We have Mount Pelier Apostolic. <laughs> Hallelujah. And we have Witton HBAC. <laughs> Hallelujah. We have Lucy in the house. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. And then we have the Holiness Board again, Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic West Cree in the house. Can we stand? Hallelujah to God. After three, one, two, three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I didn't want to shout in the mic, so we bless the Lord. Hallelujah for my home church. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We love the Lord. Hallelujah for all that he has done. Am I missing out any church tonight? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Belfield. Oh, 
Oh, that's you again. So stand up, no man. Grove Lane, Christiana. Job, as in the servant Job. Job Lane. Christiana. Hallelujah. Oh, God Almighty. God bless you. Sit down. Mighty Rock. Hallelujah. Mighty God, is any church I'm missing? Good. How can I miss that intent? Mighty Rock. Good intent. Put your hands together. Anybody else in the house? Lighthouse Apostolic. Hold on, Goshen. Lighthouse with it. Where is Pastor Fisher from Lighthouse? Man of God, stand up. House of Miracle. Stand up, man. I give God a praise. Hallelujah. No to Goshen, Apostolic. Go ahead, my brother. Hallelujah. Anybody else? I think I have everybody covered. Mighty rock. To the household of faith. Savanama, please stand in the immediate presence of God and give him that worthy worship. After two, one, two. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. One last time. Anybody else? Anybody from Canada, UK, USA. USA? Oh, bless the Lord. Stand and give God a word of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. We give God praise. And to those online, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Florida, oh my God. Florida, stand for me. Hallelujah. USA, Florida. Why, Pastor, I need to travel, you know. I need to travel. Hallelujah. So that's everyone. But this time I'm going to ask everybody to stand. And we are going to shout hallelujah. After three. One, two, three. <laughs> hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated in the presence of Almighty God. It's a pleasure to have done my part. And we are getting right ahead into the next segment. So I'm going to invite sister claudia to come and we had a banner competition today so it's time for the announcement the moment you have been waiting for has just arrived but i tell you shall we bless the lord everybody All right. you know why i'm here so i have to get a bigger show than that shall we bless the lord everybody praise he the lord did we have a mighty time today So you think you sound mighty a while ago? No. no. <laughs> Didn't we have a mighty time today? Yeah. Hallelujah to God. Praise God. Let me extend greetings to our host, Pastor Bishop Dr. Evan Nepal and Evangelist Nepal. Praise God to our guest speaker tonight. I greet you in Jesus' name. To all God's wonderful people. I extend a warm welcome and greetings to you in the name of Jesus. So today, the youth department, we went out. So we were locked up for two years. Yeah. And we decided that just coming to church was not enough. Praise the Lord Jesus. So we, we went out. We, we literally took it outside. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah to God. And we did our motorcade today. Come on, man, put your hands together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Listen, some of us, we came back without voices that are working properly, but that's all right. But some of us, we had skin tone change and all of that. Yes, but that's all right. We had a mighty time in the Lord. Can I get a shout to the Lord? Because he remains faithful. Praise the Lord Jesus. So at this time, I'm going to be extending thanks. Praise God to a few persons who... We're very instrumental in allowing this to happen. Praise the Lord. We thank God for our bishop and evangelist Nepal. Can we put our hands together for them? Praise the Lord Jesus. There was, they didn't nod. They didn't put up the finger to say no. But as long as we mentioned what we wanted to do, they were with us and they gave us their blessings. And we thank the Lord for you, sir and ma'am. Praise the Lord Jesus. 
Praise God. I also want to extend greetings and thanks, praise God, to the youth president of Holiness Born Again, uh, Missionary Walters. I'm going to ask you to stand. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Praise the Lord. On the days that we were almost certain that it wasn't going to happen, she was sure. She was certain. She waved not in faith. And truth be told, she did all the work. And today, we give you thanks, woman of God. And we trust that the Lord will continue to bless you. Praise the Lord Jesus. We also want to extend thanks to Mr. Errol Nepal. That's one of our former bishop um, son. Praise God. Put your hands together for him. Praise God Almighty. We have... We had what you would refer to as a truck crisis this morning. So we were like two hours behind time. But then he just stepped right in. And I don't, until now, we don't know how much it is for the truck. He just stepped in. He sent a truck. I don't know if he paid for the trucks. But Mr. Nepal, and I want to extend thanks to him. Can we just put our hands together for him today? Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I also want to extend... Thanks to Sister Dahlia Fru. Is she here tonight? Praise. Please stand, my dear. Praise God. That's Sister Dahlia, a hardworking woman of God. Praise the Lord Jesus. And she was also a great and vital instrument in allowing our motorcade to be a success today. And we give you thanks, woman of God. Praise the Lord Jesus. So Sergeant Wayne Wallace, is he in the house? He's not? Praise the Lord Jesus. So when we went through the parish council and then we were told that we would need to contact the police and all of that, we asked for someone. We, you have to have links. You have to know some. You have to know somebody, let me tell you. And so Sister Kim got in contact with him and within about 24 hours, we were almost certain but then we got confirmation a few days ago. So we put our hands together and we thank the Lord for him. Praise God. So Jamo, to Brother Jamoy, praise God. Please stand our base over there. Praise God Almighty. He came out right on time this morning. And he worked and he sweats and he worked and he worked. And Evangelist Cameron, praise God. Brother Sarit. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together to our musicians. I'm going to stop there because I can't call all the names. Put your hands together to our musicians, for our singers, our worshipers, our drivers, our track distributors. Praise the Lord. The Lord Jesus bless you in the name of Jesus. Then we were locked up, you know, so we thought that was not enough. So we did something else. Somebody said banner competition. You don't say it good. Somebody said banner competition. I'm going to be asking the representatives from each church, you know yourselves, just to make your way up and you're going to be taking your banners at this time. I know that our bishop is going to be blown away. We can't wait to show them to him. Watch them now and get up, Jesus. Where are they, Lord? Come forth like Lazarus out of the tomb. Come, come, come and take your banners, please. So we went ahead focused on our theme, praise the Lord Jesus, and you, can, you may go down, thank you, and we had a banner competition, praise the Lord Jesus, and these people you see walking, coming to this, listen, listen, they did their banners, and they were given criteria to meet, and listen, they went all out. When we saw these banners today, we said, listen, we can't keep them just for the day's service. So we want to showcase our banners. Bishop, I'm going to ask you just so, and Evangelist Nepal, please, just go on down. We want you to just see what our young people are capable of doing. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Put your hands together for each participant. Praise God for each competitor. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Praise the Lord. So we looked at our theme, moving from fair to faith to favor. And these are the banners that we saw coming out. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. So I'm going to ask you just to put your hands together. We have to our right, we have the Restoration Center to my immediate right. Beside, we have Lucy. Come on, put your hands together for them. 
Then we move to hearties. Can we clap hearties? Praise the Lord Jesus. Good intent. Put your hands together for good intent. Christiana Joblin, put your hands together all the way from the hills of Manchester. And we have over here Goshen. Put your hands together for Goshen. Withorn. Praise the Lord. Over here we have, is it Balaclava? Balaclava. Put your hands together for Balaclava, please. Thank you. Savannah Lamar. Put your hands together for Sav. Praise God. I'm not seeing Silo. Brother, brother Alric, please remember what you said today, sir. So if you're in the garden hiding like Adam, come out. Where is Alric? Come out with the back. Come out. Come out. You could never give that word to the and still run back ahead. Come on, sir. Put your hands together for Silo. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God Almighty. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Feast your eyes. Take your pictures. These are the young people of holiness, born again, apostolic. Praise the Lord Jesus. I know that for some persons, when they came and they saw banners like for Lucy and for Withorn and so on and, 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 and restoration, they pushed back the banner on the back and said, no man, man, already ready yet. <laughs> but they all came out well. And for the last time, I'm going to ask you to give a big and a resounding round of applause to these churches. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. But in all things, we want to award and we want to reward someone who we think based on the criteria that were to be met that person or that group that church would have came out on top and I am going to be inviting at this time praise the Lord Elder Walker and he's going to be presenting certificates to our third place and our second place and I'm going to say winners praise the Lord so at this time we ask Elder Walker just to come on down, praise the Lord Jesus. And he's going to be presenting these certificates. So in third place, we have Goshen. Goshen, lift up that banner, lift it up. Praise the Lord Jesus, praise God. Put your hands together for Goshen. Vanji. All right. So we're going to be presenting at this time a certificate. Praise God. So that was a little, it was kind of quick. We would like to get a picture, sir. Go back down there. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Sister Shanique. All right. Praise the Lord. As we wait on our, oh, thank you, Lord. We, uh, we have uh, another third place person. Our group, I must say. Now, after we deliberated as judges, the Goshen Apostolic Church, as well as this church, they had the exact score. So I think it was 17.33, and it's marked out of 20. I'm going to ask that you put your hands together for the Restoration Center. Hallelujah. Restoration, lift your banner, please. Praise he the Lord. Praise God. Praise him. So that's our third place, uh, our second, third place person, or group. Second, third, yes, something like that. Mm. Second, third place, yeah. Mm. Put your hands together for the restoration center. The Lord Jesus bless you. And uh, what you call it, a tiebreaker? That's what we had to do to separate the second place from the winner. And in, who do you think is in second place? Who? I know that I know. But do you know? Hearties! Put your hands together for Hearties! Second place. Bless the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Creativity at its best. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Come on. Clap hearties, please. Yeah. And we're going to pause at this time, and I'm inviting missionary, Minister Lloyd Perry, praise God, 
to present certificates of participation to all of our churches who came out and they did their best. So the first place person, I guess it will be obvious eventually when they do not receive a certificate. So I'm going to ask you, Missionary Perry, just to go ahead and present the certificate of participation. Who do you think is the winner tonight? Sav? Who? Sav Lamar. I wish church that. I don't even remember what their banner look like. Who is that? Oh, Lucy. Who is Lucy again? Oh, Lucy's right here. Okay. Okay. All right. Put your hands together for our first place champion tonight. Holiness. Born again. Let me not get on drum roll. Lord Jesus. Lucy! Put your hands together <laughs> for Lucy, and I'm inviting Evangelist Myrie at this time, who will be presenting their token and their certificate. Put your hands together for Lucy. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Come on, stop Lucy better than that man. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome job. Awesome job. Um, Lucy, and the Lord bless you. Praise God. Mighty, mighty thanks also to our judges, Evangelist Mary and uh, Minister Martel Moody. Praise the Lord Jesus. Put your hands together for everyone. Praise God. You did well. And at this time, our bishop is going to be coming. He's going to be announcing the winner he thinks is the winner. Something like that. So let, let, let's listen up, please. Please to listen. Give him a microphone, please. Let us hear this. Hip hip. Hip hip. Turn to somebody and say, who tell you your church the nice? Oh, glory to God. I can see you guys were in prison for two years. <laughs> Uh, sorry for the devil. <laughs> uh, I just want to express my joy tonight. I am very excited. I'm very happy to see the many, many talents that's exhibited here today. I also want to say the reason why I didn't see the, the board members here is because we had a three, three and a half hours or a three hour session this morning. We started from maybe something to 11 and we were so sorry we weren't able to come and celebrate with you. That's why I didn't see us doing our bit, our crazy bit too. I sat there and I looked through, I walked down to the bottom and I had my winner. I mean, this is awesome. This is really, really, really innovative, skill, everything in one. I'm, I'm kind of I'm kinda glad I wasn't a judge because I don't know how I'd manage. <laughs> but um, I think the winner tonight is everybody. <laughs> God, bless. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You, you, may, you may go. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, all right, all right. By the special grace of God, he gave everyone according to their several abilities. So we put our hands together for the creativity of the young people. Congratulations, Lucy, and to all the churches. God bless you. God bless you. We are moving on really quickly. So we're going to stand in the presence of the Lord. It's time to collect the offering. Hallelujah to God. At this time, I'm just going to ask Sister Safia just to pray the offering prior in Jesus' name. Let us bow our heads. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we give you thanks, God, for another night in your house. Thank you, God, for all that has been said and done so far. Lord, as we're about to offer up from what you have blessed us with, we ask you, God, that you will bless and sanctify it, God Almighty. Let it be used to the furtherance of your ministry. Bless those that are able to give, Lord Jesus, that they will always have. And those that have not, I pray, God, that you will provide, that they may be able to give unto your work. Have your own sweet way, God, as we say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. At this time, we'll take the ministry of the National Youth Choir. And after this, you will not hear from me again, but from our esteemed president, 
of the National Youth Department. God bless you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Everybody. Come on, somebody bless the name of the Lord. Do you serve a mighty God? Are you serving the God who can hold your hand? Yes. Hallelujah. Are you serving the God who has held your hand?
glorious time. We're going to a city where moonlight never shines. May not go, cannot tell, others will be there. For God himself will be alive to guide us on our way.
worship him. Oh, Go ahead and shout the praise. Oh, oh. Come on, young people, shout the praise. Shout the name of Jesus. Shout the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Touch your seat as a fire. Hallelujah to God. Be seated in Jesus' name. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire. Fire. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Two years under lockdown, but the power of God. Let us give ourselves. Hallelujah to God. The word is here. Mighty God, mighty God. What a God, what a God. Bishop, the whole them look, them could go all night. But we have convention tomorrow morning. So let us behave ourselves in the house of the Lord. But isn't God is good? All the time? God is indeed worthy to be praised. Mighty God, these young people have been going from this morning and they still have the fire within them. But we have to use wisdom. Hallelujah. We want to get on the night speaker. But first, let I bring, bring greetings to my bishop, Bishop Evan Nepal. And to Evangelist Nepal, put your hands together for these two lovely people of God. Also want to take this opportunity to greet our nice speaker and to our elder, all the elders, evangelists, ministers, missionaries, all the officers, youth presidents. I greet you, saints of the living God. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus our soon coming king. Truly, it has been a blessing to be here tonight, to be standing in this capacity. If you notice, my voice is almost gone. And I know, I know you want to, I know what you want, but we have to hold it. We don't want Bishop to take out the strap. Glory to God. <laughs> yes, but first I want to bring special greeting, especially to... Our dear elder, Elder Morris, our assistant pastor in Hearties, stand and take a bow, sir. Trust me, he's, he's one of my mentors. You know, I'm rub me hard at times, but I give God thanks to be standing and he's here. Mighty God of Daniel, we give God thanks. I want to give special greeting to the past youth executive. Truly. At the start of this pandemic, that executive navigate the HBAC organization through Zoom. Leading that department was our dear minister, minister, minister. Let us shout it out, Minister Lloyd Perry. Come on, stand and take a bow. Mighty God of Daniel, this woman of God stood through this pandemic and I hear evangelist Nepal said it. She taught her how to navigate Zoom, Google Meet and she's what? All. You're, 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 oh my God, no doom. This woman of God navigated us through the pandemic. 
and it's an honor to be looking at the back end of the pandemic. And although we have changed the baton, the ex past executive is here still mentoring us into this new dispensation. At this time, I want all the executive members of the past executive to, to, to stand at this moment. Just stand. The past executive stand. And I know the young people know them. Sister Carol, my PRO, Minister Moody, Vice President, Missionary Tanik, Missionary Claudia. Oh, dear elder, why are you hiding behind the column? Come to the front of the class, man. God bless us, we're only joking. Oh, dear elder Walker. Sister Kim, we give God thanks. Our choir director, wonderful. But as Sister Charmaine, yes. Come on, Sister Odette. From good intent, stand and take a shout. Mighty God. She's a true friend in the body of Christ. A true friend. A woman who lives in prayer and fasting. But as the baton was passed over, mighty God, I want the new executive to stand at this time. I want the new executive, although we are still being monitored, the baton has been passed. And I be give God thanks that today, after two years, <laughs> hallelujah, we took youth there outside. And didn't we had fun today? Didn't we sing and dance in the glory of God? I just in the favor of God. I want to greet my first vice president, missionary Claudia Noble Grant. A true woman of God. She has a wealth of knowledge, Bishop. To my second vice president, Minister Adrian McCallum. Mighty God. To our quiz coordinator for the West, Minister Martel Moody. We look, we see Sister Rihanna our new PRO for West. So all the pretty flyers and, and notices that you see coming out, Sister Rihanna, along with Sister Shanique Adams for Central. Come on, take a shout. We give God thanks for our secretary, Missionary Kimberly Crooks. So all the notices and her assistant is Sister Safia Chambers. Hallelujah. As it relates to our treasurer, missionary Claudia, no, missionary Charmaine. Ah, where is she? Yes, and our assistant is Minister Jovine Miller. Young people, I present to you again, physically, the new executive. Have I missed anybody? Oh, Come close, Sister Tandiwi. Come give me a high five. Yeah, my friend. <laughs> yeah, man, a radical young warrior. She's um, our choir director. And they always say you kind of save the best for last. He was, he was our moderator for tonight. Mighty rock, man of God. Brother Odin, where am I? Odin, I hear him running. Ah. <laughs> Yes, man. He is our quiz coordinator. And we give God thanks. We'll be working with him, Sister Rochelle Johnson, all the way out of Belfield Central, along with Minister Martel. You may be seated. So we give God thanks for the new executive. We give God thanks for the new executive. And if you notice, it's a mixture of the past executive and some new faces to the executive. <laughs> you said they say of the best for last. Yours truly, Evangelist Kenroy Waysom, out of HBAC Hearties. <laughs> truly humble to be served. I'm just here to serve. And I believe that God has divinely set up this executive. And when I, I, I prove that God divinely set it up, our dear Evangelist was the advisor for the past executive. And I say, God, whatever you have planned, I will do my best. 
The songwriter said, where he leads, I will go. And when I got the second confirmation, our new advisor for this youth department is none other than our dear Minister Lloyd Perry. So truly, we are preparing ourselves to go to the next level. And as our team says, moving from fear to faith to faith, trust God. But I believe today is an example of what God is getting ready to do. We were walking, we were singing in the favor of God. So we continue to believe God for a mighty revival in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. The speaker is here. So right at this time, we are going to have the ministering of the choir another time. We will be collecting a speaker's offering. So I'm going to ask the ushers to come along. While the, the choir will sing the ministering song. After which, our minister Lloyd Perry will come to introduce the night speaker. God bless you all. And young people, I love all of you. And we give God thanks for you showing up today. So many churches were here today. And God did smile on us. God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Over to the choir now. In total adoration on to you, you reign on your throne, for you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. I will sing to you this song. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. I lift my hands in total adoration on to you. You reign on your throne, for you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. I will sing to you this song. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. I live in total adoration. You reign upon the throne, for you are God, because of you, you're the only one I seek to, and I just want to say, I just want to say, Lord, I love you more.
the Lord. I've never known. A love like this before.
Worship the Lord, somebody. Could we just give the Lord a worthy worship? God is worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. In this mode of worship, there's a prayer request that went up, praise God. Our minister, Monica Ewart, She's not feeling very well at home and she's asking us to pray. So while you are there in your separate places, please just usher up a word of prayer for our minister, Monica Ewart, in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Healing in the name of Jesus. God, wherever she is, Lord, we send forth your healing power right now. Hallelujah. On her body in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is, God, you are able to heal and deliver and set free. Praise God. Elder Simon Whiteley was born in the small community of War Minister. He attended the Austin Primary and the Manchester High Schools, respectively. He is a graduate of the UE Muna as well as the International University of Biblical Studies, Waterloo Division. He got saved at the tender age of nine years old and received the baptism of the Holy Ghost shortly after. He is, or was, praise God, a president of the UCAM Universities and Colleges Apostolic Ministries and currently serves as an elder at the Montpelier Apostolic Church under the leadership of Pastor Ayola Wellington. He is happily married to the lovely Sister Emma, I can't call your wife's name all this, Marik, Marik Stewart Whiteley, and is the father of a beautiful daughter, Asheriel. His greatest desire is to continually see souls being born and remain steadfast in the kingdom of God. HBAC family, could we stand as we welcome our preacher for the night, the man that God has prepared for this hour, Elder Simon Whiteley and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Can you lift your hands to worship the Lord? Can you sit your hands one more time just to worship the Lord? Amen. He is worthy to be praised. I said he is worthy to be praised. Paul wrote to the brethren in Rome. He says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies, living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. And it's no big service. It's no big service. So don't you ever think when you get into the presence of the Lord, you're doing him a big favor. It's only reasonable service. 
But David said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, he didn't start to name them yet. <laughs> it only stimulated his mind. So my soul cries out, is there a true worshiper under here tonight? Come on, is there a true worshiper under here tonight? Amen. I'm happy to be here. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. Happy to be in the presence of the Lord tonight. And I'm grateful to God for the love wherewith he has loved us. Even when we have failed him, he has remained faithful. I take this time to greet, amen, your host, pastor, and presiding bishop, Bishop Dr. Evan Nepal and Evangelist Nepal. Put your hands together for your leaders. <laughs> Amen. I also take time to greet your youth president and the executive team of the youth body. Put your hands together for Evangelist Waysom. <laughs> to the wonderful choiristers. Amen. 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 Come on. We can do better than that. <laughs> it's good to see young people excited for God. Yes, others are excited for their reggae artists and others are excited for football and all of that. So it's good to see young people excited for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Also to the musicians, God bless you. Multimedia personality, God bless you. Ushers. To those who came with me from the Mount Apostolic Church, God bless you. Good to have you. Amen. My wife is here with me tonight. You can just stand let them see you quickly. Amen. Praise God. We give the Lord thanks for her. My mother is also here and other members of the assembly who are with me for the third time in this week. Amen. The third time in this week. Praise God. But as somebody rightfully said, we were locked down. And now that we have been released from lockdown, we go and put the devil under pressure. Come on. Is there a believer with me under here? I said, so we were locked down for two years, and now we have been released. We're going to put the devil under pressure. Praise God. Happy to be here. Amen. I'm cognizant of the time. I'm cognizant of the fact that tomorrow is worship. And therefore, I try to get out of here as quickly as possible. But I want to lay the word forward to the Lord as laid in my spirit. Of course, I greet your outgoing National President. Put your hands together for him, Minister Lloyd Perry. I see Evangelist Walters. Amen. She's hiding somewhere there, but God bless you. And to all God's wonderful people, I greet you in Jesus' name. Let's stand for the reading of God's word quickly. I'll be reading two passages of scripture. The Old Testament reading comes from 2 Chronicles chapter 20, and I'll be reading 2 Timothy 1, 2 Chronicles 20, and I found it say, Amen. Came to pass after this also that the children of Moab, the children of Ammon, and with them other beside the Ammonites, came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on this Syria, the side of Syria. And behold, they be in Hazazan Tamar, which is En Gedi. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaim a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord. Even out of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the face of the Lord. Let's get to verse 12 in this of time. O oh God, our God, wilt thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us. Neither know we what to do. But, but, our eyes are upon thee. Hmm. 
verse 14. Then upon Jehaziel, the son of Zachariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jael, the son of Mathaniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, came the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And he said, how can he all Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem and thou King Jehoshaphat, thus said the Lord unto you, be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours. But God. Woo, I feel him in my soul. Glory. Tomorrow go we down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of Zis, and he shall find them at the end of the brook, before the wilderness of Jeruel. He shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself. Stand ye still. And see the salvation of the Lord with you. Holy, holy, holy. O oh, Judah and Jerusalem, Another time. Fear not. Nor be dismayed. Tomorrow. Go out against them. For the Lord. Will be with you. Get down to verse 25. And closing right here. And when Jehoshaphat and his people. Came to take away the spoil of them. They found among them in abundance. Both riches with the dead bodies. And precious jewels, which they stripped off for themselves, more than they could carry away. And they were three days in gathering of the spoil. It was so. Dear God Almighty. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We're going to have some church tonight. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Let's get to 2 Timothy chapter 1. Amen. Before I get into the message. Excuse me for sipping the water. It's a cold up here. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, according to the promise of life which is in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my beloved son, Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus, our Lord. I thank God, whom I serve from my forefather with pure conscience, that without ceasing, I have remembrance of thee in my prayers night and day. Greatly desiring to see thee, being mindful of thy tears, that I may be filled with joy. When I call to remembrance the unfed faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Loy and thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also. Wherefore, I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. Seven appointed. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. The word of the Lord. Put your Bibles down, stretch your hands up. Lord Jesus, we exalt you tonight. Hallelujah. You are the I am that I am. You are the bomb in Kiliad. Shia Messiah. You are the helpless sinner's friend. You are the baptizer of the Holy Ghost. One more time, Lord, this lump of clay, this dust stand before your people. But I ask of you to trust me with your anointing just one more time. So many hearts desiring to hear a word. But I can't speak unless you unctionize me. 
Functionize me now to speak your word with clarity and with power so that souls will be elevated, encouraged, and lifted. In Jesus' name and for Jesus' sake we say, Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Tonight I want to speak to us briefly on the topic that I thought the Lord is what he laid in my spirit. Don't operate in what God have not approved. Don't operate in what God have not approved. Brothers and sisters, as I examine your theme, three words are outlined clearly. Fear, faith, favor. I took the time just to look at the definitions of these words. We had to jot some jottings here. And the first word is fear. And fear is something that has paralyzed the believers from time to time. Yes, you have the Holy Ghost, we know. But in our human frailties, evangelist wisdom, we are impacted by fear. Fear of the future. Fear of the unknown. Fear of dying. And several different things that cause us to fear. It's a feeling of, anxi of an anxiety sorry, that causes restlessness. It doesn't bring comfort or satisfaction. It makes us uneasy. Fear. It has the potential to challenge or to channel into doubt. And doubt will channel into unbelief. And those are not things that God has approved. Fear. As people of God, we are in the kingdom of God. And every kingdom carries a king. Every kingdom carries a king. And the king is the one who rules over the kingdom. And the subjects must be obedient to the king. Oh, just let's, let's stay foundation a little bit. And we are in the kingdom of God. And the king is the Lord Jesus Christ himself. In St. Matthew chapter 16, he says unto Peter, Upon this revelation I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. The church was built by the Almighty God, purchased with his blood. And so the king of the kingdom is the Lord Jesus Christ. So evangelist Waysom and all the young people who are here, we take orders from the king who rules over us. Now when I examine the word fear, I started to look at what the king says about fear. And when I examine it, 365 times in the entire Bible, Two words are used. Fear not. It doesn't matter what or who is causing the feeling. I'm looking at who is giving the command. I am not in the kingdom of the world. I'm in the kingdom of God. I'm not taking instruction from outside. I'm taking instructions from the king. Walk with me, I'm getting somewhere. And so, I look at what the king had to say about fear. 
365 times in the Bible when I researched it. Two words, fear not. Who is giving the instruction? God Almighty. It then resonated with me that to get from fear to faith to favor, it is not what is going to take you through that. But who? Oh, Lord. I want to repeat that for somebody. I'm laying a foundation. And I see the time, but I'm, give me some time to lay the foundation. So it's not what going to take you from fear to faith to favor. It's not a what. But it's a who. And that who is the one who is responsible for the kingdom that I am in. So we operate by what the king has approved. Now, my king is not no ordinary king. Jesus Christ. On the natural side of life, men obey what ordinary kings tell them. But this king is not any ordinary king. Shama Messiah. This king is the king. This king is the all powerful king. This king is the omnipotent, omnipresent, and the omniscient God. So if we can run with instruction from earthly king, we must run with the instruction from the heavenly king. Oh, I'm still on the foundation. So the king says, fear not. What are you going to do with that? The king of the kingdom says, fear not. Are you going to obey? Or are you going to disobey what the king says? I'm going to obey what the king says. That simple tells me, brethren, it doesn't matter what or who is initiating the fear. The king says, fear not. Now, if the king is telling us not to fear, he is also saying something on the flip side, I have all power to get you over all fears. And that's why when David got a peep into it, after he was anointed with a horn of oil, by Samuel the prophet. After they hid him in the background. But when God gets ready, you must move. And so there was a giant sending out threats, standing to defy Israel, the covenanted people of God. All the trained men were paralyzed by fear. Oh Lord. And the giant stood there days on top of days saying, send me a man. When David, the anointed of God, Heard what was happening. Took down some cheese and cakes for his brothers in the army. And heard the insult and the threat of Goliath. He was in amazement. How can the covenanted people of God be backing up in fear? When you have God Almighty on your side. The brothers try 
to discourage him. Say, go back. Because of the naughtiness of your heart to come to see the war. Is there not a cause? Is there not a cause? Jesus. Sometimes you have some people who hold on to every word that God has spoken, Bishop. And they are ready to act upon what the king has said. And others who are still doubting and fearful. But they want to stand in the way of the believer. Lord Jesus. Sometimes discouragement even comes from within the own camp. Oh God. But that didn't deter David. He says, it's there not a cause. So he went into the king, King Saul at the time. And Saul said, David, you are better than my trained soldiers out there. But I wanted to go with these. But David never proved Saul's armor. David never proved Saul's weapons. But David had an experience with the great God. I was out in the field taking care of my father's sheep. And a bear came to devour the sheep. But I got some strength not from Saul's armor. A lion came and I got some strength not from Saul's armor. But I got some strength from the Almighty God. And this uncircumcised Philistine, it will be no different. My daddy tell me to fear not. So I'm going to work with what my daddy says. And so evangelist Waysom, while the men were backing up, David was getting into overdrive. They ran down to the brook, pick up some stones, and he ran up to the enemy. Oh God Almighty, that's not normal warfare. Oh God, Israel was backing up, but the anointed of God was flinging into gear to go up into the enemy's territory. I come to tell holiness born again. God is about to shift you into a level of faith to get into the devil's territory because there are souls to rescue. So don't let me go through. And so while they were backing up, David ran. You come to me with a shield and a spear. But I come to you. In the name of the Lord. Who shot a I wonder if somebody know that name. I wonder if somebody know that name. I wonder if somebody carry that name. Hallelujah. And so based off this experience. He now put his experience into writing. And he started to write his experience, Minister Perry. And he said in Psalm 27 and 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid when the wicked I feel him under here when the wicked even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh they all stumble and fail the same David he started to write Psalm 23 yea though I walk yea though I walk yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow Oh, Shataya. Why could he walk through? 
He was acting upon his master and king's instruction. Fear not. Holiness born again. Fear not. I don't care what giant is before you. Fear not. I hear the word of God tells me in 1 John 4 and 4 that greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world. If I'm carrying a great an authority, there is nothing to fear. I refuse to operate in what God has not approved. That's what God gave me for holiness. Katasha. I feel faith lifting up in somebody. Who is telling us fear not? The king of the kingdom. Whose kingdom are you a part of? I'm closing so no worry. I looked at what he told his disciples in Matthew chapter 6. When you pray, pray our father. Who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Fear is not a part of the master's will. And I don't know who came under here. In a fearful state. But tonight, God gave me this word to help you. I will not, I refuse to operate. Shut up, Mahaya. Mr. Waysom, I refuse to operate in something that don't have God's stamp of approval. You won't run too much, but take the word. David got this in his spirit. And that's why while the army was backing up, they were in reverse, but he was going forward. And so the king tells us, fear not. That's the first word. The second word is faith. Fear has no approval by God. But faith does. Oh, let me repeat that. I said fear don't have no rubber stamp by God. But faith does. Jesus Christ. Ooh. With all I just said in the beginning, God don't put no approval on fear. So put that aside. Let, let's move into what he approves now. The second word is faith. I said before, it's not what going to move you, but who? God says, fear not, Bishop. The same God through his word now says, without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe Jesus Christ and believe that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him I come to shift you into faith mode we go put fear behind and we go shift into faith mode so faith brethren speaks to confidence or assurance in something or someone and 
and the God of heaven tells us that without faith you can't please him oh God almighty I don't know about anybody else when I got saved I never got saved to please no man I never got saved to please no pastor no evangelist and no missionary I got saved to please the almighty God and God is telling us tonight if you are ever going to please me you got to have faith faith I'm running with the time what is faith faith is confidence in God and his ability to work out every aspect of our life, even when you don't have the evidence. Oh, Lord God Almighty. Oh, Jesus. I say faith is confidence in God. That he has the power to work out every single detail and aspect of my life. Even when I don't have the tangible evidence in front of me. You now realize that fear and faith can't stay in the same place. Therefore, oh God. So you got to get the fear out. And you got to shift into faith more. Hear what the Bible says in Jeremiah 29 11. I know the thoughts. I think towards you, said God, thoughts of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. If the Almighty God is telling me that through His Word, that He has an expected end for you and I, oh God, evangelist, wait some, regardless of the situation, my brother, that comes in my life, the King tells me, the King has assured me, the King has given me his word that he has an expected <sighs> Jesus Jesus somebody shout a hallelujah somewhere there the world Young people have their own expected end for you. The world system have their expected end. And they will tell you from the beginning, nothing good now come out of this one. Early, early, you are written off. But I'm not putting confidence in what man says. I'm calling the faith risers tonight. I'm calling the faith believers tonight. God says, I know the thoughts I think towards you. Saith God, thoughts of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. And so I now shift into my first text in the interest of time. It speaks to a king, Jehoshaphat, king of Judah. When I backed up before I get to chapter 20, I looked at 1 Chronicles 18. It tells me that Jehoshaphat, oh God, aligned himself with Ahab. Read it in your spare time. Who was Ahab? Ahab was that king, wicked one too, who oversaw apostasy in Israel, the worship of idols, the Ahab and a Jezebel, a deadly combination, wicked combination. And therefore, Jehoshaphat went into a place where God never found favor, Bishop. 
God was against that because he had to send Elijah or God to pray to shut up heaven three and a half years no rain for man to return to him and so Jehoshaphat oh God he went and aligned himself to Ahab went into battle with Ahab and almost lost his life but now he repented in chapter 19 now after he sought the Lord repented here comes big trouble Here comes big adversity. Not one tribe, but three. All at once coming against one man and a nation. It was a great multitude. And the first thing that Jehoshaphat did, the first response was that he feared. He feared. He feared. He feared because of what they told him, Missionary Perry. He feared because of the description that he got. But then after a while, he chipped into the right mode. Jesus Christ. People of God, sometimes even if you start out with fear, don't stay on fear. Oh Lord God Almighty. <laughs> If you chip into fear sometimes, oh God Almighty, don't stay in fear. So he chipped into fear. But after a while, he chipped out of fear. And he set himself to seek the face of the Lord. I wish to God we will get back there. When, when adversities come upon us, we don't stay in fear. But we will start to seek the face of the Lord. And so Jehoshaphat started. Ted. to see the face of God not only him but the entire Judah they started to see the face of the Lord they now shift the focus from off the multitude and shift their attention To what the king of kings says. That was the problem that the Moses generation had. God told Abraham they shall occupy Canaan. But when they got there, 12 men went to spy out the land. 10 men put their focus on what they saw. But two men, Jesus Christ, Hatashaya. Put their focus on what the king said. I want to encourage us tonight. When you left, leave out of here to go back to your home assembly. Shift out of what is before you. Shift out of what the people are saying around you. Shift your mind from what looks seems impossible to you. And shift your attention to what the king has said. says we are like grasshoppers mistake they made it was not your battle in the first place it's the king who says you're going to get this land so your responsibility Jesus Christ is to possess what the king has promised you. I refuse to operate in what the king has not approved. So Jehoshaphat feared. But after fearing, he backed himself to the right place. He went back to faith. He set the entire nation on a fast. He was now saying, Lord, I see with my natural eyes. 
But I'm going to shift out of the natural into the realms of the spiritual. Katashaya. I wish somebody under here tonight. Oh, you see the giants before you right now. Some of you see some situations in your life that look as if they are giant size. And in your own mind, you can't overcome them. You can't get no victory out of this. But, 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 it's time to shift. I want you to touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's time to shift. You have been in the fear position too long. You have been in the doubting position too long. You have been in unbelief too long. It's time to shift. Lord God Almighty. Oh, some of you won't shift. So the devil going to have you under his feet for a very long time. But I come to preach to those who want to move to a level that God want them to move. I said it's time for the church to shift out of the realms of the devil and to shift into the realms of God. Why are you saying the devil? Because the Bible tells me that God has not given us where did you get it from? Where you got it from? It's not God who gave you the spirit of fear. It's not God, Bishop. Where did you pick it up? Katashaya. Take word in your system. God never put no approval on fear. Where did you pick it up? Number one. Number two. Why you pick it up? The God inside of you is saying, fear not. And if you won't listen to and obey God, who are you going to listen to? Jehoshaphat feared because before his eyes seems an impossible mountain. But he shifts out of fear and shifts into faith. He went in the right direction. I come to stir up somebody's conscience under here. Fulabushaya. I feel his anointing saturating somebody's mind. He shifts out of what God said to put aside into what God approved, which is faith. And he stayed right there with Judah until he got the directive from the king. You need not fight in this battle. Oh God. That's why fear grip us most time, Bishop, and everybody. You know why? We want to take on God's responsibility on our own self. Sometimes because of how intellectual we have become. Mm-hmm. 
and how intelligent we think we have the solution to every single problem. We think we can solve it with our own intelligence. So we are now searching true for solution. But the solution God gave them is that fear not. The battle is not yours. The battle is. What are you going to do with that? You going to believe it? You going to believe what the word says? Or are you going to run away from what the word says? The man who initially feared now settled Judah and said to them, the Lord has spoken the word. Now we going to worship. Is there a worship under here? They started to worship. Jesus Christ. They said, with this great multitude before us, Lord, we have no might. So humanly fear is in our heart. But we have no might. But we are shifting the attention to the one who has all power. He says, we have no might to fight against this company, but our eyes are on you. Oh, Jesus. I want somebody under here to shift your outlook Shift your outlook. Shire, Shire. Hata, Shire. Shift your outlook. When they shifted your outlook, there came a word in the midst. You need not fight in this battle, for the battle is not yours. It's the Lord. When they got this word, fear left them. And praise kicked in. I said praise kicked in. And then my mind goes back to Paul and Silas in a prison cell. Hands were bound. Feet were bound. No light in the prison. No reason to even praise God. After they were beaten severely. But, but, but. But, but, but. They shift out of fear. And shift out of the pain that they were going through physically. And shift into faith. Upon what David says. I will bless the Lord. At all times. His praise shall continually be in in my mouth there are some folks under here and I'm getting ready to close this now you are going through some situation and you have always looked on what is before you but right now it's time for a shift shift out of looking on what is before you and shift your attention to what the king of king has says Lord God Almighty when Jehoshaphat got the army together he gathered the praisers. I wish I had some worshippers with me under here. Shama my Messiah. I say he gathered the praisers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're acting in faith, my brother. Yes, the devil will tell you. Stay discouraged. Stay down and give God no glory. But when you're acting in faith, you are looking at it as an in spite of worship. In spite of the fact that sickness is in my body. In spite of the fact that there is no food on my table in spite of the fact that it seems as if this mountain is unmovable I will bless the Lord tell somebody shift 
Tell somebody, shift. Can I remove it now? Thank you. Lord God Almighty, help me here. Yes, yes. Come on, tell somebody beside you, shift. 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 Lord Jesus. And when they started to shift, then the God of glory started to shift with them. Good God Almighty. I come to tell somebody, you have been in the fear position too long. You have been in the doubting position too long. You have been doubting too long. It's time for you to shift. When they shift into praise mode, I feel running now. I feel running now. Somebody came here depressed and cast down. But in the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth, get up out of yourself right now and begin to shift into praise mode. When I left my house, I came with all those things on my mind, Evangelist Perry. Oh God, trying to find solution to get out of this situation. But I'm going to put it on the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I'm getting into the shift right now. I'm running with the shift right now. I'm getting out of the fear position. It's time to step over. Jesus, Jesus. I feel him. I feel him. I feel I am shut up. Yes, someone lift up your hands and begin to worship. I feel I feel a shifting. Yes, I'm getting ready to open the altars. Don't worry about it. I see the time. But I say it's a time for a shift right now. Jehoshaphat feared. Jehoshaphat saw the army and started to fear. But then when he got the word of God, he started to shift into faith mood. The God of heaven told me, I need not fight in this battle because the battle is not yours. The battle belongs to God. When Almighty God has given me that charge, I'm not going to stand complacent as if I have nothing to glorify him for. I got to worship him because I already have the advantage. Oh God. Why do you have the advantage? You know the end Jesus Christ. I come to lift up the young people. Why are you going to rejoice, Ella? You know the end from the beginning. The end is already set by Almighty God. So all you got to do is to work yourself through the process. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, God Almighty, I come to encourage somebody, I come to encourage somebody, I say when you're trusting God, you know the end from the beginning, so it doesn't matter what you're going through right now, if you can only step in faith, if you can only shift into faith mode, then victory is already yours, Jehoshaphat! Even before he went up to the army, the outcome was already declared. Favor was granted even before they started to approach the enemy. They knew my brother the end from the beginning. And upon this confirmatory word, they got their tambourines and started to worship. For somebody under here. 
Somebody under here. You came tonight. You came tonight. With fear in your mind. Of what's going to happen next. But right now. Feel his anointing in this place. Shama. I feel the anointing of God. Right now. We're going to start to shift from fear mode to faith mode. And when they shifted upon the word of God, the enemy set ambushment for their own self. They never needed to lift not even one weapon of mass destruction. Because they operated on what God approved. Faith. Not only that, when the battle was over, Hold up, oh Lord God, I wish somebody would get that vision. Started with fear mode, evangelist spirit. Multitude before them, fear mode. Sought God in faith mode. And when they shift into faith mode, God answered them and shift them out of faith mode into favor mode. I come to wake up somebody under here. The devil is a liar. The devil wanted to stay in fear because he don't want to walk in favor. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth tonight, I'm not staying in fear mode. I'm ready for the shift. I'm going with the shift. I am a Shandai. I must go into faith mode when they got into faith mode they went into battle with nothing and left with so much spoil it took them all of three I don't know who I'm preaching to under here tonight I come to leave a word in your spirit when you leave out a convention. Don't operate in what God has not approved. He has approved faith, but he has disapproved fear. And when you have faith, favor. In my final statement, Paul, when he was about to die, wrote one final letter to his son, Timothy. He says to him, when I remember the unfetched faith, the authentic faith of your grandmother and your mother that has passed on to you. Holiness born again. Remember the authentic faith of your forefathers. Jesus Christ. I'm watching the time, but I got to deliver the word. I say, remember the authentic faith of your forefathers before you. That they stood upon with God. It has been passed down to you. You got to stand upon it. You got to hold on to it, evangelist. It's a tried and proven kind of faith. He now says, I don't know what Timothy was struggling with. I don't know, evangelist, what he was struggling with. I don't know what was causing him to have some level of doubt or fear. But Paul wrote to him and says, Timothy, stir up the gift. Let us all stand. I'm done preaching. Let's stand.
I'm done preaching, but let's stand. Holy Oshai. Holy Oshai. Timothy! I charge you! God put no approval upon fear. But he put it upon faith. I charge you that you stir up the gift of God. There's somebody under here tonight. You need a stirring in your soul. Your faith was about to go weak. Doubt was taking over your mind. But tonight is the night when I stir up. When I rekindle faith in God. Because fear was never downloaded to you by Almighty God. And I refuse to operate in what God has not approved. Stretch your hands upon the ear, everybody. I'm finished. Finished. This is a message to build you up. Build up your confidence in God. To stir up the anointing inside of you. Because when you leave under here, you're going to face some situations when you go through these doors. I'm telling you right now, when you walk out of convention, you're going to face some situation that's going to cause you to want to fear again. But this word tonight must rest in your spirit. There's a song that says, It's so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to Upon his promise, just to know the set. I know it's late, but if you want us to pray with you quick, let's come down quickly. Let's go. Let's pray. If you want to fill your faith, if you're so desired, before we go, how I trust him. How I prove him more and more. Him more and more. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Precious Jesus. Precious Jesus. Oh, for grace. Oh, for grace to trust him. One more time. Oh, I trust him. How I trust him. How I prove him more and more. Jesus, Jesus. Precious Jesus. Precious Jesus. Oh. I refuse. 
refuse. Jesus. I refuse to act upon what God has not approved. How I prove. How I prove. Give more and more. Give more and more. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Woo, Jesus. Precious Jesus. Precious Jesus. Oh, oh, for grace to trust him more. I'm about to hand over this microphone right here. But when I leave out of here tonight, Don't operate in what God hasn't approved. I refuse to operate in fear. God has given us a spirit of faith and fear. God bless you tonight. As the word soak in your spirit. In Jesus' name. Come on, somebody. Let's bless the Lord right now. Hallelujah. I love this word. Praise God, just to soak in your spirit. I refuse to operate in what God has not approved. I refuse to operate in what God has not approved. I know you're willing to go. Praise God, and we are about to leave. Hallelujah, Jesus. But can we just pray before we leave? Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. We're about to leave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody just stretch your hand to the man of God and say, Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. For you is the man of God. To speak to our spirits today. Oh, God Almighty. To help us, oh God. To understand, oh God, that we do not operate, oh God, in fear. Because you have not approved fear, God. Hallelujah. But you have approved, your God, faith, which leads us into favor. Put your hands together one more time. Amen for the word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's already late. Hallelujah, Jesus. And uh, trust me, I am one who loves the excitement. If you know anything about me, I love the excitement. But believe it or not, I, I love the way how tonight came to an end. Praise God. It came to an end in a way, amen, that I realized that someone received a word tonight. And sometimes in the excitement, we miss what God, hallelujah, we miss what God is doing. But I love the way how the night ended. Hallelujah. It ended with someone meditating on the word of God. I will not operate in what God has not approved. Can we pray at this time? There's a song that says, I will never be the same again. I just want to sing that song just one time as I close in prayer. Praise God. There is not one HBAC young person who will be leaving convocation 2022 and allowing fear to cripple you anymore. I will never be the same again. Praise God Almighty. We are stepping from fear. We are moving into faith. And we are moving on into faith. Can you just sing that song just one time as I close in prayer? In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I will, I never, will be never be the same again. Thank you, the Jesus. Same again. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I will never. I will never return. I've closed the door of fear. I've closed the door. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I will walk the path. I will walk the path. I'll run the race. And I. And I. I will never, will never, will never. never. Come on. Can you sing that song like you mean it? Be the same Hallelujah. I'm about to close again. in prayer. But somebody tell yourself, I will never be the same again. I will never be. Thank you, Jesus. I'm moving on, Lord. The same. Hallelujah, again. Jesus. I wish you would understand what you're saying. Hallelujah. I, I will, will never, never return. I've closed the door of fear. I've closed the door.
Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I'll run the race. I'll run the Thank you, Jesus. And I, and I, I will never. I will never. never. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just sing it one more time. Just one more time. One more time. I will never be the same. I will never be. Hallelujah, Jesus. The same again. I will never return. I've closed the door, Lord. I've closed the yes, door. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I, I will want the path. And I will want the race. I'll run the Hallelujah. race. Hallelujah. And I, I will never, will never, will never, will never, never, will never, will never be the same. Just tell me softly while I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We will never be the same again, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord God. From the beginning of this convocation, Lord, we have been blessed, O oh God, mightily, Lord God, by your word. Your word which is able, O oh God Almighty, to strengthen our faith. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we thank you, O oh God, Oh God, for being in this convocation. We thank you, oh God, for the souls, oh God, that were filled with your Holy Spirit. Oh God, we thank you, oh God Almighty, for our leaders, oh God Almighty, who was blessed, oh God, who were blessed, oh God, by this theme, moving from fear to faith and into favor. Father, we thank you, oh God, that throughout this week, oh God, someone life. Oh God, will never be the same again. Oh God, that someone even right now, oh God, is turning their back, oh God, and fear God Almighty. Someone right now, oh God, who was crippled by fear for years, oh God Almighty, have made a turnaround even now. Father, by your word, we are moving into another gear. God, we are moving by faith, oh God, into favor. We thank you, oh God, hallelujah. For every single young people, oh God, in the apostolic faith, Lord God, HBAC, oh God, and otherwise, God, we thank you, oh God, for this convocation, God, that has changed lives, oh, hallelujah, Jesus, both in the house and even on social media. We pray that even as we leave here tonight, God, that we will never be the same again. Oh God, as we leave, oh God Almighty, we will leave, oh God, fear behind. We will leave, oh God Almighty, everything that you did not approve. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that you did not approve, oh God. We close the door on it tonight. Oh God, and we move by faith into favor in Jesus' name. And for Jesus' sake, everybody just say amen right now in Jesus' name. If you believe the price, say amen right now. Praise God. Hallelujah. You're saying I agree. Do you agree that you're leaving fear behind tonight? I will never be. Hallelujah. The same again. The same again. God bless you tonight. God bless you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you tonight in Jesus' name. I've closed the door. I've closed the door. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will walk and I'll run the race. I'll run the race. And I, and I, I will never, I will never, will never, never be the same. Be the same. Just raise your right hand, raise your right hand where you are. Hallelujah. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Go. Amen. In Jesus' name. Leave fear behind. Walk by faith and step into favor. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.